Hello, and welcome to Wake Paranormal TV. I'm your host, Keith Campbell, and today we're going to be reviewing some epic footage. See what I did there? Stay tuned. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Scary AF Video Files. Today's footage is brought to you by Eric Connor over at Epic Paranormal. You can follow him over at epicparanormal.tv on YouTube or epic.paranormal over on TikTok. I got to investigate with Eric a few years ago at the Benton Farmhouse for the Evil of Nowhere documentary. And let me just tell you the energy when he's investigating is unlike any other paranormal investigator I have ever had the pleasure of investigating with. His energy while investigating is on a whole nother level. Now for the past few years on YouTube and on TikTok now, he investigates his haunted basement and let me show you the footage. I'm not going to talk about it. Let me just play it for you. And then we're going to review it together. So let's check this out. There, there she is. Betsy? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. What that was the, the Mel meter happened? that just got knocked over. You okay? Listen, Maggie listen, is the Maggie, name of his doll. Okay? There's a voice that comes through and says, she's fine, Eric. <laughs> Do you hear that? That was a class A EVP in my opinion. She's fine, Eric. You hear the breath in it. It's pretty clear as day, and I'm deaf in one ear. So let's go and review uh, the Mel meter getting knocked over again. Right before the Mel meter gets knocked over, you do hear a knocking sound. And I think that's why Eric turns to the right. So let's there, have a there listen. There she is. Betsy? Oh, God. You heard that? Oh, right? my God. Oh, my right. God. Oh. So obviously he's excited. I would be excited, too. I probably would have ran out of the basement, honestly. Let's have a closer look. This is at 35% speed. And I did do some um, brightening of the footage. And let's just have another look at the mail meter getting knocked over. All right. <laughs> Real quick. You heard the knocking sound, right? There it is. It's tumbling down. <laughs> I love I love listening to people's voices in slow motion and fast motion. Obviously, he's excited. He's shining the light on his haunted doll. Now he's shining the light on the mail meter. Right? We're going to have another closer look real quick. And I'm going to pause it. We're going to do some frame by frame just to see if there's any anomalies. So this was a live stream. And as you guys know, whenever you live stream, you're not going to have the highest quality. You're going to have frames dropping. I don't know what he live streams at, whether it's 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. Um, but you're never going to get that full quality when you're streaming, depending on your internet service or your phone service. So as you can see right here, a lot happens in one frame. So you're not going to have the best footage to review, unfortunately. Boom. Now that light to the left is the reflection on the antenna. So you don't see the reflection right there, but that's the antenna. Antenna disappears again. Just in case anyone thinks it's a string or anything like that or fishing line, it's not. You can tell that's the antenna on top of a mel meter. I'll throw up a random picture of a mel meter just so you guys can see a side by side comparison. You can see right there is a whole bunch of different noise. If I do frame by frame right there, you guys see that at the top and the bottom of the screen. So now if you look, this is interesting. It looks, I don't know what those are. If those are cards, decks of cards or to me, it almost looks like a VHS tape, but I know it's not. But I'm pretty sure that's either the in-camera stabilization or autofocus or it could just be from it live streaming. But the box does look like it's moving as well when you go frame by frame. There it is again. Looks like the front of the box is moving. Could be the stabilization of the camera. I'm not 100% sure. But right there, you get... What is that right there? That's a weird 
a weird couple of frames right there. I guess that's from his flashlight maybe moving. There it is again. You see the antenna. It looks bent. I'm assuming it's just how many frames per second he's shooting and the shutter speed and all that stuff. He's in a dark basement, so shutter speed might not be at the correct shutter speed. If he has his camera set to auto, which he most likely does, the camera's always trying to figure out what the right shutter speed is. And that's it. Now he goes back over and he's panning the light on the haunted doll and then he's panning the light on the floor on the bell meter. Hopefully his mel meter was not damaged or broken from the uh, from the fall. But let me go back a few frames just so we can. So there's the mel meter. As you can see, you can see the antenna. That's the antenna I'm referring to. You don't see any string or fishing line or anything tied to it we can do a quick inversion just to see what that looks like I don't know. Super interesting footage. Let's go back to the very beginning real quick, and then I, I want to review the uh, Class A EVP one more time. There, there she is. Betsy? Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, my God! What the hell just happened? You okay? Listen, I said, Maggie, are you okay? There's a voice that comes through and says, She's fine, Eric. Do you hear that? Yeah, that's definitely a Class A EVP in my book. Um, that's not a DR60. It's not giving any false positives. That is a really nice Sony recorder. Um, pretty clear EVP, if you ask me. I actually think I have that. No, I don't have that recorder. So let me know down below what you guys think of that video. It is some pretty epic footage, in my opinion. If you are not subscribed to Eric Connor, consider subscribing to his channel. He is super, super passionate about the paranormal, and he live streams almost every single day. So check him out. Let him know that you came over from the Wake family. If you have any footage that you want to see reviewed on this channel, drop a link down below, or you can send me an email. Just check my about section. And that will give you a business email where you could submit some footage. Thank you all for watching. Hit the like button. Consider subscribing. And stay skeptical. Peace.